heading to Vista yet again. We've been there a fair few times this year. We are heading to October's Sunday Scramble, which is a super cool, classic car oriented outing. Uh, we're in the E30 and Pre today. Raj is ahead in his 964 Turbo. So we'll park the cars up and uh, go take a look around. The weather's not looking too great, so fingers crossed it's going to improve. And uh, we'll take you around the show in a bit. Mr. Heritage, oh got a sick sport that we blagged our way into. <laughs> yeah, ready for the day. Morning, Raj. Good morning. <laughs> How was the drive in? Fantastic drive up. I've got to say, what a nice, nice got a drive. Good spot this time. Yeah. <laughs> Billy the blaggers. <laughs> Classic car show, stock air. They look like 10 inch wheels. Yeah. So, just cruising around Vista Heritage. We're going to check out the uh, sports purpose area. Basically, Raj's favourite area because all of the Porsches are here. Usually some pretty rare ones too, right? Yeah, normally, normally. Okay, let's see what they've got for the The Singer DLS is in there. Ooh. Normally that's, normally that's closed. And you just sort of window shop. Now, now you can actually see it. Wow. This is the Singer DLS Dynamics and lightweighting study, a collab with Singer and McLaren. Two million quid or thereabouts. Chump change for some people, I think. Not for me, but look at it. It's friggin' amazing. You like me, Henry? Yeah, I'm not even a Porsche guy, but on the Singers, you can really, really appreciate every little detail that they've gone for. They've like over-engineered everything. Man. So, so nice. Do you like this so one? I'm admiring it. This one's really nice too. Is that Singer? A Singer as well. They just go to town on everything. Well, the car, the car is stripped back to bare metal and obviously built to the customer's requirements. Color, spec, interior, engine, three, six, three, eight, four. 4 litre, you know, you could do whatever you want. It just depends on how deep your pockets are. Yeah. So, I've got something really special here. It's a Porsche 911, obviously, but it's an RSR. Uh, Jägermeister. It was a, like a GT winner at Nürburgring back in 1975, I think. Just really cool to see actual race cars here. Look at it, man. Are you liking this ranch? Yeah, it's certainly got some road or track presence. Yeah. <laughs> Just looks like an animal parked up. <laughs> Crazy. Found some miniature cars. Very, very expensive miniature cars, but really, really. But look at that. Really. Have a look at the actual workshop inside as well. Oh, the workshop. And really? the handover bay. It's better than most independent car garages. So, so sick. <laughs>
benefit of Sunday Scramble is the fact that all the businesses on site, the technical site here, open up their businesses and basically it's like an open day for them so we have the benefit of seeing all these amazing cars that they have here, just checking out their awesome workshops and buildings. It's not something we get to see that often, which is kind of, kind of nice. And there are some seriously cool cars here, which you would not normally get to see. You can see them anyway. All super clean, the workshops are clean, it's a great place to be at actually. It's not overly busy today so you can walk around, you guys can obviously take photographs, and not have to worry about hundreds of people. Look at the mix of cars in here, you know you got you got a Mark 1 Golf GTI and you got a 360 Ferrari in green. I've never seen a 360 in green. Classic 911. Classic Alfa Romeo which I don't know what it is. <laughs> With that I don't know what Alfa Romeo that is. Just I thought it was a Maserati or something. <laughs> such a variation. What do you think of this one, Henry? I'd like to know what it is. <laughs> Comments, please. We don't know what the hell it is. It's very funky, got interesting interior. And it's just questionable. Have you seen the eyebrows or whatever? The got some weird eyebrows on the headlights. <laughs> All these sort of weird, quirky design features, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's very strange. I think Raj might want a free weight because every time we go somewhere and see one, he gets a bit, I don't know, he's a bit obsessed with free weights. Could be next on Raj's garage. <laughs> if I get one, I might need to go much better. <laughs> Maserati Bora as well. Such an odd looking car again. And our friends at Rollhard got a nice selection of uh, vintage Japanese vehicles. It's like Benny's GT Celica, Cameron's Corona. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Corona. <laughs> and uh, looks like they've got Tom's 180SX. 180SX? Yeah, that's it. Guys, I've run into an old friend, Benny from Dan South, with his amazing Celica. Ben, how you doing, man? Not too bad. Nice to see you. Dude, the car's changed again. What, yeah. What's changed about it? Every time I see it, there's like another new car or something's been changed. But I'm looking at the lip right now. Yeah, well, a, a month ago I drove into a car show and instantly s <laughs> snapped the front off. No so, way. Uh, yeah, did you have? Ideal. Did you have that waiting in sort of... I've had that in the garage for about four four years now. And can you tell us what it is? It's, such a, it's, it's called the Trans Am a, kit. It does look like a Trans Am. Yeah, yeah, basically it's taken from... Yeah. Styling cues from a Trans Am. I have got the rear spats to go on, on the back. That's a, that's a racing jacket, it's called. Racing jacket? Yeah. Like TLD used to make them back in the day just to make the cars more aerodynamic for racing. I love what you do, it's, it's mental how you change the car so much from just a yeah, few just little, little parts. things, yeah. I remember when you first imported the car. And when was that? How many years ago? It was 2015, I think. 2015, yeah. you first imported this car as it was, and you just drove it for quite a few years, right? Yeah, yeah. As it was, and then yeah, slowly literally. tinkered and tinkered away. And yeah, yeah. I've got get it loads of bits in the shed ready to go on it, but it's because it's my forever car. I'm literally just every, you know, but so often doing a change in a bit and adding a bit, and it will finally get to its final like iteration. And is there anything new in the interior? The interior is um, always a cool place because there's sort of all sorts of <laughs> Japanese trinkets in the interior. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. <laughs> What's the story of the seat? Is this some sort of special? Yeah, this is a hippo racing seat. Hippo racing. It's unbelievably flexible. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's not. I've actually snapped it. I like the tissue box as well. Yeah, the tissue box. box. Fan. Yeah, wow. the, the ashtray is called a tulip ashtray. Ch really? Like a yeah, the tulip ashtray. Look at this. <laughs> that was actually under the seat, yeah. So originally in the oh, seat, matchboxes. all the old Japanese matchboxes. 
Did you find any sick. coins in there as well? Yeah, there was plenty of, yeah, and I actually spent that when I went back to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Awesome, bro. Well, yeah, good to see you. Yeah. Thanks for showing us around the car again. No problem. And I'm sure I'll see it in another guise, maybe yeah. another yeah, it's couple of months or something. To do, yeah. Awesome, dude. All right. All right, take care. Henry, I see you've got a new uh, Slam shirt. Now available, slamsaki.com. Boom. Head over. <laughs> so, Brad just spotted a car he actually used to own, which I can't believe he sold, but he did sell it. It was on Roti Forms as well, and it got driven to Wervesy, I think. Brian from Rotoform owned it as well, okay. and Raj has just spotted another one now, and I think he's uh, having a bit of a bit of those memories return. <laughs> Can I rip it? Your face. Look. I know. So Raj, what what was so good about this car when you owned it? What do you like about it? It's well, just an estate. It's an estate, but it's uh, an estate with a Porsche engine. The engine is built by Porsche. Mm. So. It's not how powerful. Uh, 260, 280 brake, turbo, loads of turbo lag. Very much like a 964 what turbo, right. loads of turbo right. lag. So off boost, off boost, off boost. On boost, theatre, drama. Uh, and you know, you've know got to keep gunning it through the gears. And in a wagon, that's pretty mental. In a wagon. Yeah. In a wagon. And people who know, know. People who don't know. It's just an Audi, old Audi estate. But people who know, know. You get a lot of respect. I do regret selling it. I can't believe you did sell it, to be honest. Oh, well. I sold it and put the money into the 993 Turbo, so okay. There was a reason why, behind why I did it. And a palm at the time was saying, don't sell it, don't sell it, you're mad, don't sell it, don't sell it. I'm telling you now that car's going to rise in price because it was a good, clean example. Yeah, they do, they do, they do. At least you got to own one, which is cool. Yeah. In this colour. It's out on my driveway most of the time. <laughs> is this something that you can probably pick up now? Yeah, they're, they're worth double what I sold them. Really? And mine was a really good one. It was owned by Brian from Red Form. We'd spent a fortune on it. I then spent a few quid on it. Uh, but it just wasn't being used. And if these cars, if they're not driven, they just waste away, don't they? They need Pretty to be much. driven. Pretty much. But there is a car here that potentially forget the DLS because obviously that's two million quid. That could be my car of the show. Cool. BMW M1. Look. If there's any reason that I'd want to sell my 993 Turbo and a 964 Turbo, it'd probably be something like this. And I think I'd have to sell both of them to potentially even get a look in. And maybe then I might even mm, find one. If you can find one, and probably need a bit more. Because these are, these are going for a few quid now. This one, I don't know if it belongs to BMW. I've seen this here It's before. always here, isn't it? Yeah, it's fully restored. Uh, it's just amazing. They're not quick cars, but it's just that iconic shape. time. What are we thinking today? Going for Greek. Ooh. I spotted it on the way in. I was like, mm, yeah, and luckily the queue's not massive. People for burgers are going to be waiting for hours, man. It's decent. It's a cheat day, don't you? It's always becoming cheat day now <laughs> on the weekend. <laughs> Viper, that was like my poster car as a teenager. What always, was it about? I, was, I don't know, I was just always obsessed with Vipers. Yeah. The way they sounded. We used to play them on Need for Speed all the time. Every time we were on Need for Speed, I'd pick the Viper for some reason. I, just, I don't know, they're mental, aren't they? As a kid, you just think they're crazy. 
Definitely needs airing. Henry, airing. you couldn't handle the speed, mate. I couldn't handle the speed. Oh, my car is pretty slow to be fair. <laughs> Right, just spotted Tom's car, Tom from Lima. Lee Mass's 964. Oh. Ruby Stone. It's messed up the sort of order that you were going in. <laughs> so and that's the problem with this event. You, know, you, you go start going down one aisle, you see something down another aisle, you go there and you think, oh damn, I should really go back there and just walk up and down. <laughs> This has caught my eye, a 928S Porsche. I think they've like aged really, really well. I see myself in one of these. The way the 2000 turbo is in reverse, so when you see it coming in your mirror, <laughs> get out of the way, get out of the way, it's a turbo. <laughs> It's Carlton, dude. What the hell? Super, super clean one as well. These are rare now, isn't it? These super are rare. very rare, especially in this condition. This is immaculate material. Crazy. guys I think that's a wrap we've shown you Bista Heritage Sunday Scramble we've seen a huge variety of cars right I, mm -hmm. love, I love this place for the fact that there is such a, a mixed wide array of cars you know 1960s 1970s 1980s mm -hmm. even brand new Ferrari Pistas and all sorts of yeah. stuff um, so many cool cars and everything in between yes nice to look at the businesses and see all the little shops in here mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, really nice outing. I think this is, for me, Vista Scramble is probably one of the best shows to go to and just chill, just look at everything. You know, whilst there's so many nice cars in the technical area, the car park has so many cool you know, obviously cars. Obviously, we've shown you the car park and there's just as much cool stuff there as there is inside the technical site. So yeah, if you want to bring the fam here, it's a very chill day and we highly recommend. So. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We might show you next year's Sunday Scramble. Bring yeah. you back again. Yeah, January, I think, the next January time around then. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, definitely. See you in the next one.